Okay, in this video, we're going to take an HIK Vision NVR. Uh, this comes with a 2 terabyte. This is a Value Express series, uh, ERI K108 P8. Um, it's got a 2 terabyte hard drive in it. We're going to put a 4 terabyte hard drive in it. Uh, that'll give our customer a little bit more time to record. It should record up to probably four weeks if you record everything constantly. It's an 8 channel NVR. If you put it on motion only, you'll be able to record for probably a couple months. Okay, just for reference starting point, um, I went ahead and powered this one up. Uh, this is a new install. Um, I went through the setup menu to set up basic stuff until I get it to the homeowner's house. Um, as you can see right now, we got 1863 gigabytes um, remaining. Uh, total free space is 1851. You never get a full two, three, four, whatever your hard drive is. There's always something on it, uh, whether it's some uh, data stored on there, some initial data uh, from the hard drive or from the unit. Uh, maybe recording time, date, there's always some data taken up. So you're better, if you want more storage space, going higher than what you think you're going to need. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the unit apart now, and we're going to go in here. Once we add the new hard drive, it should automatically initiate, but if not, we'll highlight this, and we'll go down here to the bottom where it says initialize, and we'll initialize the new hard drive. So in doing this, the first thing I want to do, of course, is turn it off. I'm going to turn the power switch off in the back. I'm going to disconnect any cables I've got. Now, if you already um, have this unit installed, you don't have to disconnect all the cables. It just makes it easier to get to the screws in the back if you do um, have everything unhooked. But again, if you've got everything hooked up, you can get to that screw. It's just a little bit more difficult. I'd rather have it out here on the table where I can see everything and work on it. So we're going to take the cover off. And basically what we need to do is take the two screws out of the back. And there's two screws on each side. So a total of six Phillips head screws. So what I'm going to do to keep it from scratching the face, I just grabbed a towel. You can grab anything to keep you from scratching up the face of it. I'm going to set that on there. And then again, like I so said, we've got two screws in the back, two on each side. So I'm just going to go slow so I don't lose them. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to lift up just a little bit in the back. We're going to slide the cover to the back. And then this will come off. And there's our hard drive. Now the hard drive is held in by screws from the other side. So these four screws here are holding in the hard drive. So on the bottom are the four screws. What I want to do is I want to take the wiring harnesses off first. That one just got a little push pin. This one just wiggles and pulls out. And that's all there is to it. So we've got two wires. As you can see, these have slide tabs. You do not need to take them all the way out. If your unit does um, have solid holes, you have to take them all the way out. But this unit here does not. If they fall out, it's okay. We've got to probably reuse them for the other hard drive anyhow. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Okay. And I'm holding the hard drive in with my fingers on the other side to keep it from dropping. Because once you get those four screws out, the hard drive is out of your hand. Now hard drives, they make different hard drives for different things. Um, most hard drives are hard drive. Um, some do record a little faster, read, write a little faster than others. Um, I prefer Seagate myself for these. Um, I'm pulling out a Seagate Skyhawk. I'm replacing it with a Seagate Sky, uh, Skyhawk uh, for surveillance. And again, I'm doing four terabyte instead of two terabyte. Okay, so I have my new hard drive here. I'm going to take these four screws that we took out of the old one and put them in here. I just want to barely have them in. I don't want them to be in deep at all. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put it in place. I'm going to slide it forward. And now my screws should be in the right locations. I'm going to tighten these up. If you're using an impact like I am, do not over tighten them. They don't need to be super tight. Just snug them up. Flip it back over. And your wiring harness will plug right back into it. Or both of them will. And get a hold of it. So 
one. And two. And we're going to put our cover back on, put our six screws back in. So just like you took it off, reverse that. So you want to go to the back. So there's a gap in the front and then slide it forward. And then we're going to put our screws in. And I'm going to pause it while I do this. I'm not going to make you watch me put six screws. All right, so I'm back. I got my six screws in. Now replacing this hard drive works essentially the same with almost um, every NVR out there. Um, you just have to check the capacity of your NVR, make sure it'll hold the size uh, hard drive that you want. You can't just take a 16 terabyte and shove it in, a two terabyte and hope that it works. You have to make sure you find the capacity of the unit. Some of the units, um, I have one that's a 16 channel NVR, it actually holds two hard drives. So you can put two four terabytes in there and do eight terabytes if you want. But you have to find out the configuration that works for you. That should be in your owner's manual. You should be able to find it online. So we're going to go ahead and hook it back up here. I'm going to plug it back in and power it back up. So I power my unit back up here. I uh, made a couple beeps. Basically, it's telling me there's a hard drive issue or there's something wrong. So um, my wizard is set to start automatically just because, again, it's a new install. You can have yours set to off or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and exit my wizard. It's going to tell me not all hard drives are initialized. Do I want to erase and initialize the hard drives? Yes. Do your unlock pattern. If you don't know your unlock pattern, you have to use your password. If you don't know that, you're going to have to recover it with your forgot or switch IDs. So by doing that, basically what I've done is I've initialized the hard drive now. It's formatting the hard drive and it's actually uh, setting them up to record data on it. So I'm going to go into menu. I'm going to go into hard drive. And once it's done doing that, you can see the front of it, the little red light's on. Basically the hard drive's working right now, it's formatting itself. Once that's done, we'll see a menu up here and we'll be able to um, see how much data is actually available on it. So there's our new hard drive and it's got 3,726 gigabytes instead of 1,800 gigabytes. Uh, so we've basically more than doubled the uh, memory on this one. And that's all there is to uh, updating the hard drive on just about any DVR, NVR out there. Doesn't matter whether it's a Flare, or Hike Vision, Dehua, um, yeah, Sprite, doesn't matter which one it is. They all pretty much use the same hard drives. Uh, you just got to find your capacity out. Hopefully that uh, helps some people out, uh, save you some time trying to update your hard drive. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them uh, down below. I'll try to respond to you if you have questions to me. Uh, I'll try to help you out with anything I can.